Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Dramatically Sane. Today, Professor Susan hits again with another study tips video. Today I am joined by my beautiful plant that I almost killed the other day and Mr. Llama and I'm going to teach you how I take notes on Notion, the beginner's guide because I am technologically challenged. <laughs> Tell me if you like this setup because I would really love to have Mr. Llama back as a guest and I don't know, I have a plain white wall, what else can I do other than add a plushie in here so give me ideas on what my background can be. Before I hop into how I write my notes on Notion, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. So basically how I see it is that Notion is a mixture between Google Docs and Microsoft OneNote. So there is that collaboration element of it, but you can also organize your notes in a very concise way. And the presentation of Notion is like a website. So you have different pages and you can have like a main title page sort of thing. So basically it's set out as a digital book almost, but the difference between Notion and OneNote is just the aesthetics. It's so much more I guess presentable and you can also download it as a PDF once you're done with your notes so you can have it quickly on the go. It's also available offline so you can download it on your phone, on your iPad or even your laptop and when you're on the train and you're commuting to and from school or uni you can always write notes then so always utilize your time wisely with the offline option. This video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to talk about the different plans that Notion offers. The first one is the very basic plan and you get 1000 free blocks to kind of play around with. So a block is essentially just every single new line that you write on and you have 1000 of those in the free plan. However, if you use your education email, so if you have any .edu emails, you can get the personal plan, which is $4 per month for free. Um, and that's the plan that I'm using right now and it's pretty easy to upgrade it So I will show you how once we get started on how I write my notes on Notion Now I'm going to hop into how I take notes on the app, but just keep in mind This is a very beginner's guide just because I am technologically challenged So the app itself is so much more powerful than what I'm using it for and I'll show you Kind of like the different templates that they have and the different things that you can do with this so I use it primarily to take notes but you can use it as your calendar your to-do list your diary even whatever you want to use it for it's all here and it is just I believe the best productivity tool that a student can use all right so I've just started my screen sharing on my laptop so we're just going to switch to that and as you can see here I've got a page up already and this was for my management course and you can see that you can click into different pages and these are different pages and you can see how I'm taking notes for like each week. So I'm just going to start a new page and drag it all the way down here. I'm going to title it Econ because it is one of my economics units. So the first thing you I do is add an emoji. So let's see. So after I've added an emoji, I'm going to add a cover photo for it. So these ones you can take from the website Unsplash. So again, I'm just going to search up economics and see what there is. Okay. And so now I've got a cover photo. You can reposition it if you wish. And I'm just going to do that. Just fun and save position. All right. So here I'm going to start adding pages. So the first page that I want to add is assessments as always and you just click these six dots and you type turn into page and this just gives you a brand new page where you can write all your notes this is how i like to set up my notes but if you look at some of the templates there are different ways of setting out your main title page so just work with what your brain likes and then i'm just going to click the emoji again assessments usually i just use this little emoji for it. So in my individual pages under the main title page, I don't like to add a cover for it just because I'm lazy like that. Um, but what I like to do is just add breadcrumbs. And this just shows you whereabouts in your notes is this page. So you can see here that it is in economics and this page is called assessments. So from here, you can just start typing notes, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can make bullet points as well, to-do lists. So usually you would always indicate everything with a slash. 
and you can write to do, blah, 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 or you can have a toggle list. So blah, 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 and you'd have that. And then you can just make it like extra stuff that you can hide. All right, so I'm gonna delete all of those things and I'm going to add in my own file. So I've already kind of pre-saved everything for this video. So I'm just going to go forward slash file, choose a file is in my econ to sort and it will be this assessment guide and just wait for that to upload you can embed the file as well so you can go forward slash embed and then you can either embed a link or you can upload something so maybe i'll just upload the same thing and this would just make it a well this is an image but if you embed like pdf files you can scroll throughout the app as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete that all right, so that's how you add files and stuff. Next, I'm going to teach you how to add headings. So for example, if I'm going to make a heading assessments, uh, term one or something like that, I'm going to go forward slash again, and I want heading two, for example. And here it adds another heading, and you can just say like term one or whatever, and then you can type whatever title you want. And there are two ways that this program highlights. The first way is that it highlights the whole line. So again, you click on the six dots and then you color and you can choose orange, for example. So this highlights the whole line. I don't like the aesthetics of that. So I'm just going to highlight this part individually. So you would highlight, go to the A icon and click whatever color you wish. And so that's how you do titles. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and organized my notes myself because I thought that wasn't too interesting to look at. But as you can see here, I've got a few different pages. I've got assessments and I've added an image in here and it's pretty simple. You would just do forward slash image and add an image in there. And you can either choose it from Unsplash, you can embed a link or you can upload your own image. All right, and then for the course structure, I've put in an embedded PDF file. And as you can see here, you can scroll through it. You can change the size of how you want the PDF to be. So for A4 pages, you can just drag it out so that you can scroll throughout the app. So that is really useful if you want to see something. Um, for the other ones, for example, if I go into week one, these are like PDF PowerPoint slides and I didn't I decided not to put the continuous scroll in them so for these you just click onto them and it kind of takes you to a link and as you can see it just forms this link for you where you can access your notes and this link is auto generated by the app so it's not the original link that you've downloaded the PDF from so if you lose access to that you'll still have access to this file and again you can obviously download it from here if you wish to have it um, as a separate copy so that's kind of the basics of what I use notion for I'm just going to jump into one of my previous notes so as you can see here um, this is for my law course and I'm just going to go into exam study notes so as you can see I've got breadcrumbs and I've got titles, I've got highlighting, and you can make lists. So you, it can either be numbered lists or bullet points. And all of this is pretty standard. One other thing I wanted to show you is if you, for example, wanted a break in your notes. So if it's like the next topic or something like that, you can forward slash and divider. And this just adds a line into it and it just creates kind of like a division in your notes, obviously. So just jumping back into my econ course, I just forgot to show you something, but if I click into tutorials, you can add pages within pages as well. So it can be kind of like a chain thing. And that's what I mean by it's like a website. So as you can see, I've got my breadcrumb here. I click into week one and it just adds the breadcrumbs. So I can see that this is in econ tutorials. And if I wanna jump back in tutorials, I can just click tutorials or you can use these arrows go back and forth so it really is like a website but it's your personal website that no one can access unless you share it of course all right so that's kind of the segment that i wanted to go through in how i organize my notes the next part of this video i'm going to teach you how you can set up your notes with the templates so as you can see here i've just went in to create a new workspace and it asks you is this for yourself or is it for a team so obviously i'm going to click for myself 
All right, afterwards, it takes you into this kind of getting started thing. So I'm just gonna click OK. And you can see here, you can get the personal plan for free. So you just click that and it automatically upgrades it for you. See, I didn't even need to click anything. And then you press OK and it says $0 per month. It will renew whenever. So that's very simple there. Here, it's just a bunch of getting started things. So you can use these templates that they give you or you can delete them if you wish by just doing that. All right, so a couple of different templates that I really wanted to show you before this video ends, so bear with me. What you have to do is just to click templates and what I really like is the ones in engineering <laughs> for some reason. Um, so the to-do list is really cool. As you can see here, you've got the kind of three structure, the one where it's like, to do, in progress, and done. So this way, if you're a very visual person, you can just have everything there. Also, I really like the weekly agenda template. So this one is impersonal, and this is just like the more traditional to-do list, and you can just add little blocks to tick off. So if you wanna use this template, you click use this template, and it just creates it for you. And it's very easy, just forward slash to-do and you can type, you know, film video. And then once you get it done, you tick it off and it crosses off for you. So very, very powerful tool, I love it. And if you were wondering what I meant by blocks earlier, um, this is a block. So every, so for example, I'm typing something and I go to the next line. So this is a block and this is a block and you have 1000 of those in the free plan. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. I know I don't really talk about study on my channel that often, but I want to incorporate more of that, which is why I've created this video as kind of a beginner's guide to what I do as a student. If you enjoy content like this, please leave a comment down below what sort of other productivity or other study related videos you want me to do. And also let me know what apps you use to keep productive because I would really like to know and we can all help out each other. As always, have a fabulous week. Make sure you are subscribed for more content like this and I will see you all in the next one.